Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy and today's lesson we've got an amazing five minute tone exercise. So as I'm sure you're aware, playing long tones is a great way to build your tone on the sax. But in particular, I find that working on the lower end of the saxophone really helps to fatten up your sound. Once you get control and the fullness into the bottom half of your saxophone, you'll find the rest of your saxophone tone will improve dramatically as well. Now this exercise is specifically designed with that in mind, and also the other element, which is not to change your embouchure too much as you're changing registers. A really common thing is people tend to bite too hard when they go up into the higher register on the sax. Now this exercise is based on taking progressively larger jumps between two notes. So for example we start with the interval of a third, then we do an interval of a fifth, before finally doing the interval of an octave. And once you've done that third, fifth and octave we then rise up half a step into the next key and do the same thing. Now, although this is one exercise, we can break it up into three sections. And you'll see on the PDF, I've marked those three starting points depending on your level. So if you're more of an advanced player, you can start right from the beginning with those low B flats. As the exercise rises up the saxophone, intermediate players can join in. Now I've recommended that intermediate players join in when we start on the low D. But if you want to, you can of course join in earlier and maybe start on the low C. And people that are newer to sax, you may want to wait and start when we arrive at the low F. Now if you head to the YouTube library at onlinesaxacademy.com you can get the free PDF of this workout. And if you're a premium member you'll be able to get the backing track both for alto and tenor sax. In today's lesson I'm going to be demonstrating on the alto sax but it's really good to try this exercise by yourself where you don't have me playing as well so you're playing just with the backing track. Now it can be a nice idea to have an app like Tonal Energy open as well but try not to stare at the app all the time as you're playing. But on the whole, go with what your ears are telling you. Now don't worry if you can't make it all the way through each of these phrases in one breath. Take a breath whenever you need to, and you can always cut one of these notes a little bit short to create a space to breathe before you carry on. As you're playing, try to keep everything nice and relaxed and open. If you think of the vowel sound R or OR, that can help open everything up and give you a much broader, richer tone. All right, so here's a demonstration of the exercise on alto sax, and feel free to join in.
Don't worry if you can't get through this whole exercise and your embouchure becomes really tired. But if you consistently play this exercise each time you practice, focusing on keeping a steady embouchure, good breath support, and not biting down as you go to the higher notes, you're gonna notice huge benefits to your tone and control. Okay, so don't forget to head to Online Sax Academy to get the free PDF, and head over to the memberships page as well, where you can see everything else we have on offer. When you become a premium member, you have access to absolutely everything that's on the site, including all the premium content, all the courses, and everything that's in the shed as well. Let me know in the comments how you got on with this one and how far through you managed to get. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.